Hey folks, I'm going to do a little video today on how I build my battery cable for my solar system. Um, I'm using here, I'll, I'll put links to all the parts that I'm using, but I'm basically using 600 volt. Um, this is, this should be one hot. Yeah. This is one hot wire. One slash zero. Get rid of that tool. Um, this is basically all you need though, uh, and I'll put links to all this. These are the crimps that I use. I'm not 100% sure they're the best, um, but they are pure copper, and they come with the little heat shrink sleeves. So I'll put links to that too. And then I bought a set. I think I bought this as a set. I'll look it up. And See if I can find it, but cutters, you need you know good cutters and crimpers. And then use this for heat sink. Or flies, by the way, it's the best fly killer. Get a fly comes by, pick them up. But this cable is pretty expensive. Um, it's like welding cable. It's very flexible. It's got a ton of strands of pure copper. Um, very conductive. <clears throat> But essentially what I do, I like to get my, here's one that I already built. I usually like to get my heat shrink to wrap over about like that. Now, you don't necessarily have to. Yeah, honestly, you may not even need a heat shrink, but it helps keep it on, helps protect the, uh, the copper underneath. <clears throat> but um, I basically just take off, I don't know, maybe half, five-eighths inch of the insulation and do that just by gently using these cutters. I can tell I'm not hitting wire yet. Now I can tell I'm hitting some right there. And then just pop it off. And you can see it's possible that I lost a little bit, but very little. And you kind of want to bunch these up. Now one good thing about these crimps that I have, I've had other ones, that this has that basically that tapered in where it's kind of fluted out uh, that makes it real easy to get all these wires in there because let me tell you when you have one that's not like that you spend a lot of time sitting there trying to get all those wires strung in there and then I take my cramps this is one out wire but what I found I basically these, this crimper, you can set these different, you can push this in and change the size of the crimps by turning this little wheel here. I basically have one side on one knot wire. I have the other side on number two wire because I found that both sides with the one knot wire did not make the level of connection I wanted. Now, this does lopside the connection a little bit, and I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm just getting the cable in there. I just, I just, I've got the crimp in there, the cable's in there tight. Kind of at a weird angle. Or maybe I'm just a pansy. So that crimp down, it's not my best crimp. I would have usually done it up a little higher, but I was kind of angled trying to keep it near the camera. But anyway, yeah, it, it crimps down, it crimps a big piece, but you know what that does is pulls the wire tighter. I'm not an expert on this stuff, so I'm not I'm not sitting here pretending to tell you guys what you need to do. I'm showing you how I do it. Do my torch. Hit my and that'll do it. And I don't really worry too much about the colors anymore because I'm using batteries in parallel series, everything else, and if you tried to keep up with color coding everything properly, you'd make yourself nuts. So I, I basically just, uh, I try and usually make both ends the same, and then when you put it together, you just be careful. And this is my, this is my template. So this is the one that I use uh, to know how long I need to cut. So I know. You know, basically, I need to cut here, and these cutters do very good. My 
table is a Harbor Freight dolly, so it's a little on a five gallon bucket. Um, so there we go. Do that. Cut a little over half an inch or so off. Pop it out. This, this is probably actually, I'm going to cut a little more off this one because it's not, not as far in as I would like it. If I go in, yeah, I like to cram it in there a little more. So I'll cut another, I don't know, eighth, three eighths inch off. I mean, I said an eighth and then I went to three eighths, but that's because I'm not smart enough to figure out the next fraction. Yeah, make sure you get this paper out of here too. There's paper in between that insulation and the wire. That's an ugly cut, but I've never actually had to take that tiny little bit off. But when I heat shrink that, it's not going to matter. Okay, there we go. Now what I try and do is line up the ends so they're both on the same plane, basically, when you put them in. And this time... process. Get that hook in there, get it in the right place. It does take a little bit of elbow. And there you go. You gotta heat shrink this one. But that's a that's a better crimp than the other one. I'm not worried about this piece coming off to the side because all that wire in there is being crammed into that Thing, so, throw another heat shrink on, line it up a little past where you want it because it's going to shrink. And hit it. There you go. So, that's my method. Um, I'm not an expert on sizing the cable. Um, I actually went overkill on mine. I think I could have probably gotten away with number two wire. I'm, I've got one one on. I want as little resistance as possible. But anyway, that's crimping. Thank you.